second point I wanted to make was that, and we'll see with the next piece, that Chopin was 100 years ahead of his time. <laughs> so now we enter the black and white era. We have a photograph of Chopin. 10 years later, 1839, and he writes Trois Nouvelles Etudes, Three New Etudes, New Etudes, which is a great name for an etude, just like quantum physics was when it first came out. When quantum physics first came out in the early 20th century, they called it the new physics. Right? This is, these are the new etudes, right? a new way of looking at what music could be. And this is at least 100 years ahead of its time because we wouldn't see this kind of jazziness, this kind of chromaticism, almost atonality, until the 1920s, 1910s, 1920s, with the music of Schoenberg and Stravinsky, etc. So, just listen. Now, this, this piece is definitely tonal. It's definitely also in F minor. But it uses so many notes that don't belong to F minor <coughs> that you'd be forgiven for thinking that this piece was rambling on in, in a new exploratory, experimental direction. Uh, yeah. That's, oh, this is also an etude. This is also a finger exercise. And what it's working on is a four against three polyrhythm in both hands. So the left hand is thinking in groups of four. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And the right hand is thinking in groups of three. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. And both of these are happening at the same time. So that's the, that's the accomplishment of learning a piece like this.